back, Hack Clan fam. I'm super excited today because I got a brand new video coming your way all about what's in this special, special package sent to me from KA Pickups in Cremona Guitar. So I'm super excited. So let's open this bad boy and check it out. Let's see what's inside. So I already opened this because I'm trying to do this with one hand while I hold the camera. But what we have here is the SG2 KA Pickup from KA Pickups. Now I have reviewed some of the pickups um, from K&A for nylon string guitars, but I really wanted to review one for steel string. So let's open up the package here. Let's see what we get all inside here. Really, really nice packaging. Looks like we get some directions here. Congratulations on your purchase. Some instructions. Ooh, this is really, really nice. So let's take a look here. Looks like we got our cable, standard quarter inch. Uh, output there and we have this here which we connect into that which actually goes into the pickup itself and then we have a little clip here um, that we can tie to our belt so that we don't step on the cord or the cable now let's move all this out of the way let's take a look at this really really superb quality as I always expect from KNA their products are always just so pristine, very, very nice, very chic looking, really, really nice feel. And we have the volume for uh, more output and uh, specific dynamics. So let's put this and install it on my guitar and then we'll put it through its paces. And that's all that comes with it in the box. Very cool. So the installation process is very, very simple. All we want to do initially is just take all of the pressure off of the strings without actually taking the strings off. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using a Martin uh, 00015M all mahogany. So as you can see, I've loosened the strings quite significantly. They're very, very loose. And what I'm going to do here is with the pickup, I am going to go from the treble side upward. So this is going to be kind of difficult to do with one hand, but I'm going to feed it in through one string at a time and slowly put it between the bridge and the bridge pins. So as I do this, I'm going to have this be flush underneath all of the string. And here is what it looks like in proximity to the guitar. And I must say with its all mahogany construction, it looks really, really, really cool with a mahogany guitar. Um, the installation process is really, really simple. Again, the biggest key here is just to loosen the strings and place it underneath and have it flush. So now let's run it through its paces and get some sound checks. So right off the bat, one thing that I really, really like about this is how there's no like hum or like feedback. Sometimes with like certain types of pickup systems, you'll have this kind of like underpinning like hum. And this is definitely not the case um, with this, which is pleasantly surprised, but I'm not all that surprised because K&A makes a fantastic pickup and I didn't expect any less. This is the same way that it was on the NG2 um, for nylon string guitars. Um, before I play it, um, I'm just going to kind of talk about my workstation because I'm sure I'll be questions from that. I'm running through Audacity, just a free service, into a Nux AC um, 30 amp with a mic in front of it with Blue Yeti. Um, before I actually play here, here's just a dry tone without the pickup. start to add in the mic.
something a little bit musical. Let's put on a loop here. Um, play a little jazz tune. See if we can uh, get this good. see it's really 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 nice with the dynamic capabilities with the 
uh, being able to kind of turn it up or turn it down. It sounds really, really, really nice. So this is an absolutely fantastic product at a really, really, really affordable price. Um, I highly recommend if you are the type of person that has a really, really kind of nice boutique guitar that doesn't want to have someone drill holes in it and doesn't want to compromise its structural integrity or worry about any things like that, this is definitely like the perfect option. Um, no modification needed, just this little device that sits underneath your bridge, um, between your bridge pins and your saddle, uh, or on top of your saddle, excuse me. Very, very, very nice, sleek design. Uh, I really like it a lot. So, K and A, congratulations again. You always do a fantastic job. You knocked it out of the park. So it's it's a hundred percent home run for me. And you're definitely going to see this in more videos and especially gigs. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and definitely give this a check out. I'll have all of the links down in the description so you can check it out for yourself. I'll see you soon.